Tyker's scripts are beautiful. Um, I worked with him on Hunt for the Wilder People as well, and it shared a similar tone. It was obviously, the subject was obviously very important, but he just has the ability to sort of ride that wave uh, where you're, you know, you're laughing, and then you know, a page, the next page, you're, you know, punched in the guts, and then you think you're going to be sitting in that for a while, and, and then the following page, you're laughing again, and you can't believe it. So we started with a brilliant, brilliant script, and then in the shooting process, he's looking for as much as many options as possible. It's a very playful process. Um, there is not one specific take he's looking for. He's looking for a range of performances that we then take back into the edit and then he spends a long time cutting and testing to, to modulate that tone. And the idea with using the Beatles over that archive footage, um, which is very you know, difficult footage to watch, but to really sort of, the idea was to try and um, get you to understand Jojo and see the world through, to take you into the world through his eyes and to see that for him as a, as a 10 year old kid in 1945, um, Hitler and the Nazi party was like the Beatles, it was like um, Beatlemania. And so combining those two um, things together was a way to both kind of energetically take audiences to Jojo's place um, to understand where he was coming from.